Yeah. She fought for her rights. Now she has a house. Let's be real. For God's sake, let us understand life that way. That sometimes in life, you should wake up from your seat and say, No, I am a radio presenter, but I need to drive a Bugatti. We can't be here forever. So if you, if you don't want to fight for your rights and you feel like, Okay, cool. Me, I'll take things cool. Yes, that is your life. So not that when I fought for my rights, Chatterhouse is fighting me. None of you guys will say, No, no Charlie. I want not to deserve it. Because after that thing, the things that started happening, people should have, somebody should have raised his finger and said, yeah, shut the house. I think what Shatawale said in 2013 was right. You know, he deserved that award. But the, the, you see, these are the things you say. Some of us will be sad because a, I know a lot of radio presenters yeah. that really sat on radio and fought. Yeah. They spoke, they spoke seriously against it. Where did the fight no. get me to court? No, it's not. Where did the speaking get me no. to court? They, when they, I, they, going I to think court? they came out to say that they wanted you to apologize. Did you? How many times did I apologize? Do you know how many times I apologized? Well, I don't, I don't know about that. You know, but it's, it was you people that I was looking up to, and I was giving that respect to the media. That let's make this. A better place. Let's create this environment into a laughing or something practical. Like you know, let's just leave as brothers and sisters and enjoy. But yes, that is why I was always bringing those apologies out. But what I'm just saying is that sometimes when somebody fights for his right, Kwame Nkrumah did that for us. We shouldn't forget that he fought for us. That is why today we can sit down and there won't be war. When he said freedom, he meant it. That is why I used it to create a song to. For Ghanaians to be aware that the, the man has given us an idea of how the country is going to be. We are going to be free. We are going to live happily. We are going to party. Ghana is the only place that I know that we party that we don't like even shooting guns. That's how we love ourselves. But people don't want to understand that side of life in this career that I'm living. They are watching me from a different perspective. They, they don't see me moving with the culture, moving with the country's direction. And that's why the president will be my friend. Because, you see me, I like talking to people like that. President, ministers, because, you see, it's not music. The thing has gone beyond music. I want to learn something. I want to be myself. I want to be a better man. I don't want to lie to myself because I have this dreadlock. And one day, before Ghana will realize, I'll just cut my hair and I'm in parliament. Mm. Yes, because I, that ambition? Yes, because I, need, I feel I need to help some people in my community. If Nima or Kolegono, I have to even enter there. If my English is not good, I'll call and the dusty, pay you, come and be talking in parliament for me. Then I'll be listening. I love, what did they say? How, yes, how are you? Me. Yes. <laughs> so, man, if I, if I, if right now I go to parliament, they say they will pay me plenty like that, and I'll call you. You see the way you run, come. I just buy you from one Pajero. Nice one. Sadiq to read it. Of course, it's like, you know, just be in the office. Sadiq to deputy. Deputy. Chief of staff. Chief of staff. See yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm talking to Shatawale uh, on the radio here on Hits 103.9 FM. Uh, we'll soon get into the album properly. But you introduced Dami Crane to me, if you mm. remember. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah. We we were on a show. Mm. And then you brought me, Blade brought me his pen drive. Yeah. I had to stop. I was your DJ at mm. the time. You asked me to stop playing your music mm. and play his music. Mm, come on, see. How real can you be? Uh, you see? Then I was asking myself. Mm. Is this guy crazy? Mm. We are in the middle of a performance. Mm. People are cheering you on. Mm. You introduce a Nigerian on stage. Mm. I whispered to you that, Charlie, if I come out and your song will stop, beside the player. Mm. Yeah. Say, what? <laughs> so I stopped playing it, and then I introduced the guy. Mm. Who or which Ghanaian would you do this for? I've done that for many of the youths. You know, have... Can you mention names? Oh, yes. Sir was on it was on my set on, on my album launch, you know, even though it wasn't planned, you get me? When I had my show in Kolegono, you know, the homecoming, I invited all, you know, the artists who, you know, were coming up also to pass through. A couple of shows that I've done, you know, anytime I do it. Recently I went to Baroski's um show and I actually sat down and I was enjoying the shows from Kim Promise, from Kwame Yujin, Kidi, Miss V. I was enjoying because he said I was the last person to perform. And I was enjoying the show. What I'm just trying to say is that sometimes when people live real with you, you live real with them. It's a Sarkodias and the Stone Boys and the whoever who come to tell us that, oh, this guy is your friend. This guy is your friend. I mean, when I went to Nigeria, I know my Kobolo friends, Dami Queen, Benaboy. I called them to come and support me because what I was seeing 
from watching the shows on TV, um, the program on TV, I was like, hey, uh, it's good my friends are around. And they came and they really came to.